mentioned this afternoon, uh, motion charts. Motion charts, this is something really fancy that Google Analytics has introduced along with advanced segmentation and custom reporting. Uh, this really allows you to see not only your data in motion, but it allows you to view up to five different segments all at the same time. And it allows you to view it in, you know, a regular in a visualization chart, in a bubble chart, versus just the regular reports that you're served up with all the time. Uh, this really, the intention of motion charts from Google Analytics is to really to get you to do a couple of things. One, to get you to find some insight or find some uh, new information that you may not have noticed or you may not have seen from just looking at your other reports in Google Analytics. And it also really uh, it tries to get you engaged with your data uh, in a different way, and it really, uh, it really uh, wants to expand your horizons, if you will, uh, on the data that you are getting in your profile. You can use motion charts for basically any report. You can't use it for reports like the dashboard and the overview of the visitor section, but you can for individual reports. Keywords, search engines, referring sites, all those nitty-gritty reports, you can use motion charts. Where you'll find that? You'll find that in this button where my arrow is pointing, visualize right on that top bar. So anytime that you want to create a motion chart of your own, simply click on that, and for that particular report, you'll create a motion chart. Before I show you, uh, before I show you creating one, I want to point out a couple of things. When you click on visualize, you'll be taken to the motion chart, and it'll carry over the date range that you have enabled. So if you notice in this particular example, I have September 1 through October 31st, two months worth of data. When I click on visualize, that will carry over. And another thing that will carry over is the number of rows that you're showing. Most of you are aware. Google Analytics shows you the top 10 uh, for every report. You can actually view 25, 50, even up to 500 on a single page. Whatever option you have enabled there is what's also going to carry over into motion charts. So let's go ahead. I'm going to click on visualize. Uh, when you do click on the visualize, and some of you will see it right about now, uh, you will get to this page. It'll look just like this. It'll have the name of the report on the top left, keywords, so that you know where you are. It'll show you that how many uh, keywords, how many total visits, via how many keywords. Now, in the actual chart itself, each one of those bubbles represents one of the top 10 keywords, with the one that says keyword is my number one keyword, uh, as far as visits are concerned. So it automatically highlights the one that's the most visited, that has obtained the most visits. So you can edit in a couple of different things here in this chart. You can edit what's known as the X or the Y axis. So that's the X axis, of course, is going across. The Y axis, of course, is going up and down. Uh, so the first thing that I wanted to do for this particular report, and I should probably mention what I'm going to do before I actually start talking about it. Uh, these, what I wanted to do here in this particular chart, I wanted to get an idea of how these keywords are performing in terms of conversion rate, transactions, and also a little bit about user behavior. So I'm going to build my chart uh, based around what I want to do. So the first thing that I want to edit, I wanted to edit the pages per visit going across the chart. And so that's already there as a default option. So I don't need to do anything. But what I want to edit going up and down, I don't want to see visits for my particular example. I want to see percent new visits. So I want to see uh, sort of the volume of new visitors that these keywords were able to obtain. So what I would have to do, as you can see now in the example, I would just basically click on that drop down menu and it would show me all of the available metrics or dimensions that I could use uh, this chart for. So the very first one is percent new visits. So that's exactly what I'm going to click on. And as you can see, uh, once I do that, the bubbles sort of, or the circles, sort of already floated or migrated towards the top. So what this means is a lot of these keywords, most of the traffic volume that has been generated for these keywords came from brand new visitors to my site. So already we're starting to see uh, we're starting to get some information that may not have been automatically available to us. We can already start to see it take shape. The other two things that you can edit are found towards the right-hand side of this particular chart. You can edit the color and the size of each circle or each bubble. So the colors, by default, each different keyword or search engine or referring site or whatever report you're looking at will have a different unique color. This is so that you can identify which one is which. But you can also change that if you want to. And so that's what I'm going to do here. 
Uh, you can also have them be all the same color if you, you're not into colors and that's not your thing. But what I want to do, because I want to sort of get an idea of how, uh, from an e-commerce standpoint, these keywords are doing, I'm going to click on this metric here, e-commerce conversion rate. And so now the color will be, uh, there will be a scale, which you'll see in the very next slide, and it'll show you how red or how blue or how hot or how cold these keywords are in terms of e-commerce conversion rate. And so you should be able to see that right now. Notice there is now, towards the right-hand side, a scale. So it starts from the bottom to the top. The blue is, of course, the lesser. And it gets, I call it hotter, uh, redder or yellower or oranger as you go up. So notice now in the bubbles or on the circles, some of them are pretty much blue. I see some purple in there. And then I see one that's sort of teal, uh, almost you know green in a way. Uh, so that's going to be my highest converting keyword. Uh, Hopefully your report will have uh, some redder or some oranger colors for you to look at. Uh, but for this particular example for you here this afternoon, this particular keyword for my top 10, that's my highest converting one. And I know that because it's a uh, hotter color uh, than all the other ones. That's not all I want to change. I also want to change the size of the bubble. So you notice they're all the same size as of, as of right now. So what I want to do, I want to change the size so that uh, they're defined by its revenue. So the bigger the circle now, since I've changed the size to revenue, the more revenue that that particular keyword has generated. Now you can start to see some pretty big differences between all of the top 10 keywords. My number one keyword gets the most traffic, so naturally gets the most revenue, has the highest e-commerce conversion rate. Uh, notice that little fellow right towards the bottom left of the screen. It's in its own little area, uh, sort of a similar color in terms of e-commerce conversion rate, sort of that same teal type of color. Uh, but the size of it is much smaller than my number one keyword. So while it converts at the same rate, doesn't necessarily bring in the same amount of money uh, than my number one keyword does. So that's one part of the motion charts. The next part of the motion charts really is the motion part of it. Uh, so what we were looking at right now, and I've changed slides here, what we're looking at here, we're really looking only at one day's worth of time. If you notice towards the bottom right of the screen, 90108 is the date range, but that's really only one day. It's not showing you the whole date range that we carried over from the regular keywords report. Uh, to get to see all of that going, what you would need to do is you would need to click on the play button that's found below the chart, and what it'll do each particular day, uh, the bubbles would rearrange themselves and it will go all the way through to 1031, which, the, which was the end of my date range that I had enabled. When you do that, you're going to see bubbles flying all over the place, changing colors, sizes, going crazy. Uh, it's going to be a little confusing to look at uh, and to see if you can see anything insightful or useful from that. The way that you can do that is where my arrow that's towards the right is pointing, that trails checkbox. So what, you, what that'll do, uh, it'll follow one particular or two particular keywords that I have already clicked on. So in this particular instance, that green bubbled keyword, top performing keyword, it'll follow that keyword throughout the entire length of the date range. What it'll do, each individual day, it'll place a bubble where it's located on the chart, and it'll also have a line that sort of follows it around that won't erase. 